Hi everyone and welcome back to Rails TV. Today we're taking a closer look at an icon of the British aggregate industry, the humble PGA four-wheel hopper wagon. We teamed up with Cavalex models to bring these intrepid little hoppers to engage. With a huge range of models available right now covering the full history of the PGAs, make sure to check out railswithsheffield.com. Designed and built by Standard Wagon of Haywood in the late 1970s and early 1980s, the 51-ton two-axle hopper wagons replaced the aging fleet of British Rail HTV vehicles. With design code PG012 and a 38 ton payload, the fleet of new wagons helped Redland not only to increase tonnages to their distribution terminals in London and the southeast of England, but also the company's operational efficiency. In addition to the 88 PG012As, the Redland fleet consisted of a further 23 PGAs built by Procourt with slightly different designs in 1984. The PG012 wagons, as depicted by our models, operated out of Redland's Mount Sorrel Quarry, moving large quantities of aggregate products to their terminals at Radlett near St Albans, Trowes near Norwich, Kennet near Newmarket, Elstow in Bedfordshire, Barham near Ipswich, Batten Ball near Seven Oaks in Kent, and also to Woking and Aylesbury. Painted in Redland's light green livery with red text, these wagons could be seen on BR metals behind a variety of traction from the early 80s up until post privatisation. A huge variety of locomotives were used to work the services out of Mont Sorrel Quarry, which included the classes 20, 25, 31, 33, 37, 45, 47, 56, 58, 60, and 73s. The post privatisation period saw significant changes to both the traction used to haul the regular services, but also to the wagons themselves. The most noticeable change during this period was in the livery worn by the wagon fleet following Lafarge's purchase of Redland aggregates in 1997. This saw the PGAs lose their iconic green paint scheme, which was replaced by an all over white livery. Again, this period saw a variety of traction used to haul the services from Mount Sorrel to the main receiving terminals across the country, initially under the trainload freight company Mainline, and then latterly under EWS. Following the purchase of EWS by DB Schenker, they continue to operate aggregate services out of Mount Sorrel to this very day. However, as newer bogey wagon hoppers have entered service with DB, the usage of PGA wagons on aggregate services out of the area have reduced significantly. August 2016 saw the final few PGAs work out of Mount Sorrel to East Anglia, ending what had been a long association with these iconic wagons. The PGA hoppers are an absolute boon for modelers, having been hauled by so many different classes from the late 70s right up until the late 2010s. Cavalex have put together some really handy formation guides showing some of the real Mount Sorrel workings which you can recreate during the British Rail and privatisation eras. Whilst these wagons normally and historically ran in long rakes, there have been occasions where services were split into shorter rakes to allow small terminals to accommodate the workings, and during their last few months in service, these wagons were often mixed with bogey hopper wagons, offering you further potential for variety on your layouts. Head to our website now to view these formation guides in full detail and download them for yourself. Released at the tail end of 2023, our exclusive Engage models produced by our friends at Cavalex are available in a number of liveries covering the full history of these iconic aggregate hoppers in Redland, Lafarge and debranded plain white liveries. We supply these models in packs of three to enable you to quickly build a large train. All in all, there are 20 different packs available in both pristine and heavily weathered conditions for each livery. When looking at the wagons like this, you'd be hard pressed to notice that these are actually Engage, thanks to the exquisite detailing presence on each one, which includes etch ladders and walkways, accurate hopper interior detailing with brace bars, and full underframe relief including handbrake levers, footsteps, and more. What's more, the tooling caters for a number of detail variations, including wagons fitted with ladders, vehicles with no ladders, standard wagons with no protection panel, and those with protection panels fitted.
The wagons feature metal wheels and axles with pinpoint ends and are very free rolling, which makes them an absolute joy to operate. As you can see, they look wonderful in a long rake when coupled up to one of your favourite Engage diesels. For this demonstration, we've used our recently released exclusive Dapol Engage Class 59 in the eye catching Freightliner orange and black livery, which is also available to purchase at railsofsheffield.com right now. We hope you've enjoyed taking a deeper dive into our little aggregate wagons today. If you'd like to bring some home to your collection, the entire range is available now at railsofsheffield.com. Find the direct link in the description or the pop-out banner on screen right now. The pristine livery models are available at £89.95 per 3-pack, while the weathered examples are £109.95 per 3-pack. Head to our website now and take a browse. If you liked this video, don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to our channel to see all of our future videos, and hit the notification bell to ensure you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.